Teaching English in Korea has been a wonderful experience. With a lot of good times and a lot of tough times. Although I've gained a lot of different experiences from living on my own to navigating living in a foreign country, there were also a lot of tough times that led to loneliness and confusion. But this is to be expected when living in a foreign country. <laughs> hey, it's Day, and today I'm going to be talking about my choice to quit teaching in Korea. So last week my school approached me asking me if I wanted to resign and I respectfully declined. So why did I make this decision to leave my school? And why did I make this decision to quit teaching in Korea? Although it's really bittersweet because I really love my students. Three, two, one! I just feel that this chapter in my life is finally over. Coming to Korea wasn't exactly planned. I was living in Thailand prior and then I just randomly thought to go ahead and to apply for Epic and when I got placed into Seoul I was like of course I'm going to go there. And being a Korean food lover and also finding ways to explore and learn more about myself and challenge myself in new ways it just made more sense for me to go ahead and teach abroad in Korea. And I was right, Korea has been challenging and rewarding in many different ways. I bonded very well with my students and I learned a lot from them. They were very cute of course, but they also taught me how to be more mindful about the things around me, as well as enjoying the challenges that come about. Kids are naturally just good at handling difficulties. They don't give up and they keep trying. They also just enjoy playing and interacting with others and I think that's so important as adults too. I've also had to learn how to live on my own which honestly was a little bit tough just because for me I'm an extrovert so I just love feeding the energy off of people but because of living in the States I've always had roommates so I felt maybe I've always cling to needing that energy from others and instead I learned how to live on my own and be on my own despite being an extrovert so I really had to learn how to be alone without exactly feeling lonely and I felt like I've definitely have learned that lesson because there are now times where I prefer to be by myself. I'm also just learning more about myself in general as well and how to navigate my own feelings and emotions and what exactly am I trying to portray or exactly say when I have certain emotions or when I want to react a certain way. I really used my time in Korea to really learn more about myself and who I am at a deeper level. And there were also a lot of tough times I had to deal with living in Korea because when I came to Korea I decided to stop drinking as much because in college I partied a lot <laughs> for fun. But in Korea I decided I wanted to cut out drinking and partying but Korea is a very drinking culture so it really also challenged me how to learn how to socialize in different ways that didn't involve alcohol. And there was also a time when I had just broken down. I think this was around April 2019. I will probably go into more detail about this later, but it was just a time where I was going through a lot and I just was not sure what I was going to do with my life. And so I just like broke down crying and it was really cute and sad. <laughs> But at the same time, even when I was going through that experience, I was recognizing that, okay, I know I'm going through this, and I know it's hard, but I'm gonna allow myself to cry, I'm gonna allow myself to feel sad, and I know that I'm gonna overcome and learn something from all of this. And I think I was just so confused about what I wanna do with my life because I really wasn't sure. Just because I'm not super gung-ho on living in Korea, it's not exactly a big dream of mine to like live here forever. I just know that I've always wanted to come here, try it out for a bit, and then go on to the next thing, which is basically what I've accomplished. But for some people, I know their dream is to come here and to live here forever and, you know, start a foundation or family or whatever here, which I think is also very great too. But I just know that that wasn't for me. So I really had to take the time to understand what did I want out of my life. So throughout this time, I learned how to shift my perspective a bit more and better on certain things. And I tried to just understand that everyone is going through their own natural transition of life. And also that not everyone wants the same thing as you do. For me, um, I'm still exploring and learning. And uh, I think it's kind of cool if YouTube, I can kind of document my life and you guys can kind of see where I'm going to next. But I understand that everyone is just completely different. And I think that's what's beautiful about life is the fact that there are so many different people going on their own different personal journeys and we're all growing and I feel like we could all learn something from them which is why I love interacting with people so much anyway I feel like I grew so much as a person and literally growing because the day that this video is released on YouTube it is my birthday so I will be 28 on Wednesday and I'm super excited to have aged another year I mean to be honest not many people make it to 28 so I'm very thankful to have lived this long 
and hopefully continue to live. <laughs> but I still want to find and search for my passion and so yeah, that is why I am excited to bring you guys with me and I hope that you guys sorry i want to stop seeing you guys and start seeing you all to be more inclusive uh so you all i'm really excited for you all to come with me on this journey and i hope that you all decide to stick with me as well and see my growth in life <laughs> anyway i basically just want to say those are my reasons why i'm done teaching in korea nothing too crazy or anything like that i mean there are things that uh, living in Korea is a little bit harder compared to living in other um, countries, but I could share that in another video if you're interested. Just let me know in a comment below. But for the most part, it's just me ready to go on to the next level of my life for me to continue to grow and for me to continue to explore and figure out my passions and my drive that brings that my reason, my reason for existing here in this world. and. Yeah, I just want to continue to become a better version of myself and hopefully maybe I can inspire you to also be a better version of yourself and achieve all of your dreams as well. And yeah, that's basically it. So thank you so much for watching. As always, you guys are amazing and I'm so thankful to have your support. And also if you are in Seoul, I will be having a fan meeting um, this Saturday. Uh, I'll post, I'll put the information down below. But if you are in Seoul and if you do want to meet up with me this Saturday, feel free to come through. Would love to see you. And yeah, I'm finished now. <laughs> so this is day saying have a good day or signing off i don't know i feel like i need a better way to end this video if you guys have any ideas let me know anyway this is day and i will see you guys in the next video no this is day and i will see you all in the next video take care <laughs>